Welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in to another video. This week we're going over what I keep in my truck. Let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right into it. The goal of this video is just to give you guys some ideas, even if you might already carry some of this stuff with you. Hopefully there's at least a couple things in there that you might see and wanna throw in your truck as well. At the end of the video, I'm gonna go through my bags that I carry with me wherever I go. Same sort of EDC type stuff in my bag as well. So stick around to the end of the video if you guys wanna see that. Just a heads up, I bought a lot of this stuff all over, but a good chunk of it is off of Amazon. I will be listing everything I can in the links below. If you guys see something that you like in the links, if you click those links, they are my affiliate links. It won't cost you guys anything extra, but it does help out the channel. I get a small commission if you guys end up buying some of the stuff off my links. A lot of this stuff I got is newer. I'm still working on where I want to put things, how I want to organize things. So this is just a rough outline. I will make an update video probably in a few months after I get things more dialed in, add a couple more things. But here's what we got so far. First thing we'll start with is my driver's door here. I got a pair of gloves, hand sanitizer, running around all day, like to keep your hands clean. I got these heavy duty grind box wipes. If you get into something a little bit more serious, Next, I have bug spray, sunblock. I keep a couple of these blue shop towels folded up. These are meant to be disposable, but honestly, if you're just wiping up a little bit of water or something, they'll dry and you can reuse them a couple times before you gotta throw them away. And then next is this trash can I got off Amazon. This thing is awesome, especially for like gum wrappers, little pieces of trash. Instead of just flinging it around your car, this little trash can helps out big time. Then if we jump in the truck, Next thing you guys will probably see, I do have a fire extinguisher down here. It does come with a mount. I just double side sticky tape the mount down there to my truck. That way the fire extinguisher sits in there nice. This is a six in one, so it does all kinds of different fires. It is a very small canister. So keep that in mind. I just wanted something for a little bit of peace of mind. I might be upgrading to a bigger one in the future, but at least this is better than nothing. Next thing, I got these little seat holders that fill in the gap in your seats. Comes with a removable divider. It does come in a pack of two, so you have one for the driver and passenger side over there. Nice for throwing your wallet or whatever in. Next thing is my water bottle. I always keep it iced down. And then I also keep water bottles in the door. So I'll always have ice and a little bit of water in this. And then as the day goes on, I can pull a water bottle out of my door fill this thing up throughout the day as needed. Then after that, if we look up, I do have a phone holder here. This one does do wireless charging. It's just a cheap one from Walmart. Up there is just my GoPro mount. I drive a decent amount talking to the camera, so that comes in handy. And then if we look up on my visor here, this plate is pretty empty right now. Like I said, I'm still working on getting things completely dialed in. I really like the idea of this. It comes with a bunch of loop stuff. You can cut and bungee whatever you want up here. It also comes with a lot of Velcro, different ways to attach things. For now, I just have a flashlight. That's easy to get to. I really like this flashlight. It is the S2A Baton 2 by Olight. It's got a bunch of different settings, very bright. Even does strobe. I carried this as my work flashlight for a long time. Ended up getting a new work flashlight. So now it stays in the truck. It does have a double clip, so you can clip it to the brim of your hat, which came in handy. It is magnetic charging. It's a decent price for what you get for sure. I put this thing through the ringer. I'm just gonna stack things up here. I want quick access to flashlight tourniquet, maybe a cheap pair of binos up here. Moving on to the center console, pretty typical chargers, napkins, gum, chapstick pins, a couple of these Mountain Ops non-caffeinated energy packs. These are really good. Another thing I recommend is keeping a little bit of cash in your car for gas or whatever, who knows? Always having a little bit of cash is probably a good thing. Over on the passenger side, you can see I always have fresh water bottles on the door. Another pair of gloves, can never have too many gloves. And then I just have this smell good stuff after I wash the truck, spray this down, make the truck smell good. Not too much over here. Again, there's the other seat gap filler. One thing I do recommend, guys, if you have a girlfriend, wife, this thing is awesome. Rather than just having this little mirror to look out of, this is a big rechargeable mirror. So Maddie uses this thing all the time, doing her makeup and whatnot when we're headed down the road. Down here in my little slide out, don't really have anything. I have this six gang switch for my lights and such. I have a video on that if you wanna see that. That's it for the front, let's move on to the back. 
headed back here. Again, another water in the door. I do have my bags we'll be going over a little bit later. These bags go everywhere with me. So these come out of the truck. If I'm riding with someone else, these are coming with me. Holding these up are these seat back clips for this, bags, uh, I guess purses, anything, just keeping things off the ground organized. These are very useful. I don't like to keep things on the ground if I can avoid it. If I move my bags out of the way under here, Dodge has these storage containers. I just have a couple tie downs in there right now. So before we jump over there, let's go under the back seat. I don't have a lot of storage under here since I have the subs obviously, but what I do keep under here I have just a regular bath towel. I was just at the river yesterday fishing and my buddy had a hole in his waders. This thing would have came in handy on the way home. I decided to throw it in last night. That would have been nice yesterday, but I have it for next time. Also, I have this folding camp chair. So it's a little hunting chair, just folds out into a little stool. Use this for fishing. I've got one that I keep in my work truck for work. Has a little bag on it. This thing's pretty cool. Next thing under the back seat, I do have a refill of my shop towels then jumping over to the other side i have a toe strap and then i have this mesh bag i got a t-shirt shorts socks and underwear since it is the summer it doesn't take up much room along with that i have a pair of tennis shoes and i will change the setup out as the seasons go on before we jump into this along with my microfiber i do like to keep a general purpose rag as well rags and shop towels seem to always come in handy now let's jump into this it sits on the back of the driver's seat it doesn't really bother me it buckles around the bottom and then around the headrest here and so far has been pretty handy pretty cool i like the idea again for keeping stuff off the ground so over here i bought this this did not come with it this is a full medical kit with all kinds of stuff I need to go through it and organize it a little bit. I'm still playing around with placement in here. This spot might change down the road. So this entire seat back thing came with all these pouches besides the medical kit. It also came with one more pouch that I don't have on. Don't know if I'm gonna put it on. Right now, I just got a couple pins in this one. And here I got snacks, a couple protein bars. You just have to make sure you're changing them out. So not sitting in here too long, getting weird. The next pouch down here, I have duct tape, electrical tape, a pair of vice grips, pair of channel locks, a small tape measure I used to carry on my hard hat, some super glue, and a few zip ties. Doesn't take up much room and better to have it and not need it. This pouch was actually the med kit that came with it. It did not come stock. And since I have my own, I went ahead and made this the quick boo-boo bag or my medicine bag. It just unbuckles and then it's tear away. And I can get to it from the front seat there. I need to do something similar with the medical kit. I'll figure something out. I like to keep just the basics. I have just some chapstick, Tums, some Advil, allergy medicine, vitamin C, and then this is just a little boo-boo kit. I just have some antibiotic ointment, a couple band-aids. This is all nice to get to without leaving the front seat. I will try to find something similar for my med kit because that will be important to get to without leaving the front seat as well. On this side, under my mat, I have this guy right here. It is a compressor that will fill up a truck tire. So this guy plugs into your cigarette lighter. Max pressure is 150 PSI. And then it comes with a couple adapters different things. And it also comes with a couple clamps that go to a cigarette lighter. If you need to do it that way, I don't know about that. I haven't tried it that way. It did fill up my truck tire from 20 PSI up to 45 in just under eight minutes. Now that's not very quick, but this thing would be handy for sure in emergency situations. It does have this extra hose that you can just screw on to the end of it. If you need a little bit more length, I could probably get to almost all the tires besides maybe the uh, opposite corner over there without using the extension. All this together, you could do a full size truck, no problem. Coming around to the back of the truck, one last thing I recommend, a locking hitch pin. It's just nice to have peace of mind if you have a locking one, just to make sure it doesn't go and disappear on you. Now let's go ahead and talk bags. I have my main bag over here and then I have my go bag 
or gym bag. We'll start with this one. This is just a cheap Walmart bag I got years and years ago. It's about due for a new one. So I'm looking to upgrade here in the future. Kicking it off on the back, I have a carabiner here. I just use it as a grab handle a lot of the time when I'm throwing this thing around. Up top here by the grab handle, there is a little pocket. I just got a cheap utility knife in here right now. It does have a spot for a multi-tool I throw in there. In this pocket over here, I have Maxi Flex gloves, spot for my water bottle if I wanted. In this back section here, I have a couple pins, a couple Sharpies. In this pocket here, I have a lighter with some duct tape on it, some electrical tape, and then a little sharpening stone. I also have a headlamp in here with some fresh batteries, a bite and sting kit. Luckily, I never had to use this. I've carried it in the kit for a while now. Down here, tourniquet. Then I have a power bank. This is a black web. I believe I just got this one at Walmart. This sucker puts out a lot of juice. I always like having extra power with me. That's it for the back pocket. Moving on to the big zipper. First thing when you open it up, I have a first aid kit. This is a decent one. Got an instant ice pack, just bandages, typical stuff like that. Some burn cream, antibacterial ointment. I have another one of these Husky bags. And here I like to keep my personal hygiene stuff. So I have a toothbrush, some toothpaste, a couple of these flosser things floating around in there, some deodorant, and then just a little bottle of cologne. If you end up spending the night somewhere or whatever, it's just nice having this stuff on hand. Below that, I have this thing. This kind of goes with the air compressor inside the truck. This is a jump box. It does have a little flashlight on here. You can charge stuff. This thing has jumped my diesel truck and saved me in the work truck a bunch of times as well. Highly recommend getting one of these because too, they don't take up that much space and it saves you the hassle from having to track down some jumper cables or even worse, if you're out by yourself somewhere and you got a dead battery. Then at the very bottom of the pack, a little bit of paracord and some zip ties all bunched up down there. Don't take up much space at all. And two, I recommend air tags. I love Apple air tags. I have everything tagged. If you're someone that tends to lose stuff like me, air tags or trackers of some sort help. They don't take up much space. They help me keep organized. I need all the help I can get. Now let's go through my go bag. This bag is from Oakley. I chose this one because it is a sling bag. You can swap the sling from side to side depending on how you want to wear it. Also comes with an extra strap you can connect to make it a little bit more sturdy to you. The big thing that drew me to this bag is you can kind of have it staged with the zippers kind of undone. And if you just grab this top handle and pull, the entire bag lays out flat. This is my gym bag, my go bag. If I had just have to run to the store real quick, this is what I carry in with me. Starting up here, I have some Leatherman trauma shears. I believe these are called the Raptors. They have a bunch of awesome stuff on them. Seat belt cutter, nice clip. They do come with a holster if you wanna wear them on your belt, but I just use the clip and run them in my bag like this. I have a pen, need to write stuff down quickly. Over here on this wing, we'll call it, I do have some pepper spray. And then my buddy just got me this thing. I believe it's called a Kraken and it's just for shotgun and stuff. You never know when you'll find yourself in a situation where you need to shotgun a beer or something, break this thing out and go to work. It doesn't really have a home, it's kind of just sitting over here right now. Over on this wing, I like to keep another clean general purpose rag, some gloves, a little Cabela's multi-tool, and then another one of these Mountain Ops non-caffeinated energy packets. Moving on, this came with the bag, it is a tearaway. This is my first aid kit for this bag. Tourniquet, just some latex gloves. I've heard some bad things about these tourniquets, so I'm gonna go through and order some all new nice ones. Cause that was the last thing you wanna fail if you have to use it. In here, I have the first aid kit, everything you would expect. And then also some of this stuff, clotting gauze. Everything fits nicely in this bag. If I roll up on a situation, I have enough first aid kits, I can just pass them out and have enough for like 16 people, you know? and that just Velcros down there in the bottom. Since this is my gym bag, I do keep my AirPods in here. This is a cool case. It's got a magnetic opening thing. I like running a case on my AirPods along with a clip. I tend to be rough on equipment. I don't want anything to break. Some chapstick. I do have some gum in here. I like chewing gum at the gym. Do got a little knife in here and a lock for the lockers at the gym. Moving down on the main strap, 
This thing is an AirPod cleaner. It has a brush on one end and a little pick on the other. I like to keep my AirPods nice and clean. This thing was cheap, fits in the bag nicely. Just a little bit of medicine. Same sort of idea, Advil, some burn cream, eye drops, a couple of those flosser things, some nail clippers, Neosporin spray. I do have some Afterbite in there as well. And then at the very bottom, you can see I just have some more. It's blue shop towel, paper towels folded up. And then finally at the bottom here, this is that strap I was talking about that came with the bag. That you can hook up to this bag and give yourself a little bit more support. Another little power bank. This is my Olight charger for my flashlight that I now keep in my visor, charging brick, and an iPhone charger. Along with all my chargers, I do have a couple of these laying around. These are four-in-one chargers. They're cool, they're retractable. They just kind of click out, spool back up into each other, but it does iPhone, USB, USB-C. I don't use it that often, but if someone has a phone or something needs to be charged, it's good to have a couple options in one. And again, it doesn't take up much space. It goes here in the bottom zipper as well. And that is it for the bags. Since we did the bags, I figured I might as well do, just real quick, my multi-tools, knives, flashlights that I carry on me. I always carry a knife or multi-tool and a flashlight. Always, always, always have them in my pockets. This flashlight right now I'm running, it's a Cloud Defense, just a USB rechargeable one off Amazon. This one is a 350 lumen. The other one I rec recommend that's like this is the Streamlight. MicroStream, same thing, USB. I have a couple of these ones just not here with me. These ones are 250 lumen, USB rechargeable. I just like how compact and bright these guys are. Highly recommend. Then for my daily multi-tool or knife, this Kershaw knife is pretty nice. I just use it for cutting open stuff throughout the day. I typically don't run just a knife. I like to carry my Leatherman Skeletool here. This thing is thin. Has a nice pocket clip. Come over with shorts, jeans, whatever. It's got all the stuff you need, bottle opener, got a screwdriver, obviously knife, nice pair of pliers, just the bare minimum. Love carrying this thing, no matter what I'm wearing. Then for work, I carry a little more heavy duty stuff. I got the Leatherman Signal. I have a little pouch on my belt for this guy because it is a little more heavy duty. Again, wire cutters, pliers, knives, your basic stuff. You do got a fire starter, sharpener. It's about time to send this one in. The clip backed out, I lost it somewhere, don't know where I dropped it. And I also, I guess, use my bottle opener as a pry tool one too many times. It's time to send this one in to get a new one, but I love the signal. It's got a little bit adapter, and I also use this blunt end as a hammer all the time. Signal's awesome, love this thing. And then I also got the Leatherman Free T4. I carry this one in my pocket, this one on my belt. What really drew me to this one I love the tweezers on here, picking out slivers, whatnot, and just a little pair of scissors. It's nice to have. Other than that, just got your typical stuff. Nothing too crazy, but I do like carrying multi-tools, knives, flashlights, stuff on me all the time, especially when they're slim and don't take up much space. Makes it that much more easy to carry. That's gonna wrap up today's video. Leave comments down below of your EDC, your truck EDC, suggestions, things I might've missed that you guys have, and I might include them in the update video down the road. If you got anything out of this video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button and make sure to subscribe. As always, I appreciate all the support. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy and we'll catch you on the next one.